back here with my sleeping, breathing, perfect pets again today because today I have another new addition to unbox. So the last new addition I got was this little black and white cat. And as I said in that unboxing, that was the first perfect pets that I've got that wasn't new. The black and white cat was bought second hand and you may remember folks that when we opened the battery compartment on this cat it was rather corroded. So this is what it looked like when we opened the battery compartment. The battery was completely corroded but thankfully it hadn't actually leaked onto the terminals, so that was good. So this is also being bought second hand, the pup that's in this box. And hopefully this time the battery won't have corroded in the pup. The scout's been rather nosy, he's supposed to be going to sleep on his bed, but he's <laughs> taken a keen interest in these proceedings. Go to sleep. <laughs> this one hasn't got the carry box with it. The owner hadn't kept that. So I thought I'd just unbox it out of the postage box it came in. She's put the pup in a bag here. And here we have a Cocker Spaniel. And this Cocker Spaniel didn't come with the original box. But it has come with its bed, with a brush. And it does have its original collar. I was a bit disappointed last time because I hadn't noticed when I bought this cat that they didn't have the collar for it anymore. It's interesting that this Cocker Spaniel has come with a green bed but also with a brush. I haven't had that combination before. I always thought it was the ones with the blue beds that came with a brush. This Cocker Spaniel, I thought, looked particularly cute when I saw the pictures of it on eBay. And it is very cute. Look at those little eyebrows, folks. That's <laughs> so cute, the colouring. It's got, like, little specks. I suppose those are where his whiskers are supposed to be. I'm not sure. It's got little black paw pads. In there, and he, he is lovely. I think he is really, really attractive. I love the long ears, <laughs> you know. I like his sleep eyes, everything is real sweet. But we have to see if this owner has removed the battery. They have no on off switches on these pets, and batteries will just run out and then corrode as we saw in the last pet that I opened if they're not removed so let's see what the crack is with this one this is a nice responsible owner they've removed the battery uh, so there's no possibility of corrosion so I'll pop this battery in and we'll see if this little fellow works Yes, he does. His mechanism's working. Another nice, quiet mechanism. The mould for this pup is very, very similar to the Labrador pup. You see them side by side there very similar 
the dimensions and shape. Though I would say the, the neck on this one, the head and the neck seem a little bit bigger, a bit wider proportionally. It looks like he's got a docked tail, which is a bit unfortunate. I would rather the... What sort of dog is it? It's a Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniel. Oh, I can tell that, yeah. Uh, a bit sad about the dock tail. I would prefer that they made them. Oh, is that something they tail. do with cocker spaniels then, in the breed? Or well, I suppose they must. I don't like docking the it's dog's a, tails. It's quite a nice looking. Uh, I think it's really cute. This uh, one. Yes, look yes. at the look at its sleeping eyes. Mm. It's got such a nice face. Yeah. I really like the dash hands face as mm -hmm, well mm -hmm. but yeah those are, are really nice aren't they both yeah, those they, they, dogs uh, they quite captured something of the uh, cocker spaniel there aren't they <laughs> yes yeah that's what it looks like next to the pug very different mm. i was saying that the the mold for this one mm. i think it could be the same mold in terms of the body yeah yeah and the way the legs are mm -hmm. But they've obviously styled the head. But the, the head's different. different and it seems wider here than this one. I don't know if that's just the, the way they put the material, the fur on and the different colours. Mm. You'd have to get a tape measure. Mm. What it do you does. think? I'd say they feel about, they, it like, I agree with you, it looks, it looks broader, doesn't it, across the neck here? Yeah, but you think it, it maybe it feels that's about just the, the colouring. Could be, yeah. Yeah, and the fur. It certainly looks very different. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one of the cutest. Mm. I really like that one. And I'm very pleased because I bought this second hand, um, but the person had taken the battery out, so there was yeah. no problem with the battery compartment. It works fine. It's still got its collar. Even had a brush with it. They I think, kept the um, brush. As a, as a second hand buy, these perfect. Pets are probably pretty good because they're generally uh, had by adults, aren't they? Yes. Uh, there's, n there's not really a lot that can go wrong with them and they're not really played with, so they, they're in clean, good condition. The only thing that we've found is that the battery can be corroded if it's left in. Yes. Yeah, as I said on the unboxing of the black and white kitten, it's if you're buying one of these second hand, it's probably best that you check that there's a photograph of mm. the battery compartment mm. Mm. to and if there isn't to ask um the seller if they would put a photograph of the battery compartment on just in case somebody's forgotten about the battery inside yeah um because they don't have an on and off switch you pretty much guaranteed that the battery is going to run out and then leak mm. aren't you so, so if, you're, if you're thinking about getting a perfect pet so it's a good idea to uh, consider getting one second hand off eBay then, isn't it? Well, I've found that from the two that I've got. I think the kitten is a little bit grubby. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm going to put the, this one next to mm, it. Maybe, yeah. This one is nice, very... They've kept it very clean, the mm. white parts. This, I would say, is a little bit grubby. But um, I can always clean that up with some isopropyl alcohol brush, yeah. so i'll show you folks how i do that i've done it on other kinds of s soft toys and it's worked pretty well and it's it? worked really well so yes i think when you especially when you've got white fur it, it does tend to discolor this is obviously being looked after really well because it still looks really nice and clean the white fur on it the brush is the same mold it's got perfect pets on, but it's a slightly different colour. don't know if you can tell on the camera. The brushes that I had before are sort of, I don't know, what would you call them? It's sort of greeny, beige, off, beige. Off, <laughs> off beige. Yeah. But the one that's come with the, this dog is a sort of um, more orangey, creamy colour. A little bit different. I'd say this looks more like beech wood. <laughs> looks like plastic to me. <laughs> so, yeah, overall, I really like this. I will put this, you put this up in, in my favourites. Would you? Mm. Would you put it in first place then? Out of the I don't know about the, uh... first place, but I would certainly put it very high yeah, up. Yeah. 
it's yeah. it's really really cute looking mm. cocker spaniel and it certainly does look like a cocker spaniel as well you can't mistake it for yeah, being it a cocker yeah. spaniel yeah. yeah cocker spaniel puppy so folks that concludes this unboxing very pleased with our latest edition and i shall join you in the future when i clean up this little kitten but that's it for this video folks thanks for watching as always and see you next time